Hey guys, still here and welcome back to the Dyson Sphere program. Since you've last seen my little um, construction empire, I have changed it a little bit. Well, more than a little bit. What I've been doing so far is automating the science packs that I'm building. Um, they're not actually called science packs, they're called... What was it, the matrix thing? Uh, yeah, the electromagnetic matrix. The way that I've done this is set up a sort of main bus system over here. This one transports iron ingots, this one transports magnets, and this one transports copper. The copper comes out of the copper field here, the copper veins, gets smelted into copper ingots, and gets transported through this splitter here, towards a heading of north, one west, and the south one is the input. This one transposes over the other two belts, delivers copper to the micro... Uh, what is it? Micro components? Circuit board factory over here. I have two of those, and then I have two which produce the magnets, the magnetic coils. Once those are all done, they're going to get delivered to a transport belt, which then delivers them here to the matrix lab. And that's the one that actually produces the matrices. And that allowed me to research quite a bit of stuff already. Um, I got some upgrades for the mech. I have the Universe Exploration 1, which allows me to see what is on my planet. I have an update to the Mecha Core, which generates more power, or no, actually I believe it has more power stored. Yeah, increases the upper limit of Mecha Core energy. And in the tech field, I now have access to steel smelting, smelting purification, and down here we have access to the electromagnetic drive. Next up is the next quest item here, which is Star Collection, which is going to require 200 electromagnetic matrix. Now I'm going to put that in the queue. I'm going to go over to my storage facility here, grab a couple more of my matrices, and that should almost be enough. In the meanwhile, we almost have completed this part of the research, which was the energy circuit level 1. It now has more fuel generation, as long as there is fuel in the fuel chamber. To ensure that I actually have fuel to put in the fuel chamber, I have gone a little bit further north, where there is a coal vein. And the coal can be turned into, I believe it's graphene? Uh, yeah, energetic graphite, not graphene. Purify raw coal to obtain graphite, a more usable form of carbon. You can further compact graphite to create crystal diamonds that have more advanced applications. Now, I'm not quite there yet. Not quite there yet. But at least these things generate a lot more energy. It means that I really I don't have to uh, chop down as many trees, since I can just toss this in the reactor, or in the fuel chamber. And, um, well, that should take care of quite a lot of my fuel needs at the moment. Um, what else have I been doing off-camera? Well, I have decided to start building a... Uh, and this is a fairly ambitious project, which I do require a lot of power for. I decided to start building a conveyor belt main bus. There is um, more than one issue with this system, though. If you want to fly, you can. But flying takes up a lot of energy. So I have to be careful not to fly too far, um, or I risk just losing power over the sea, and that's... Well, it's a bit tedious, because you then have to fly back. Oh, and over here, I have a small factory that builds up uh, conveyor belt ones, so that I always have some conveyor belts handy. Now, for the next tech tree, um, I would like to have another research lab, another matrix lab. The thing is, I need to have... Um, where is it? Glass. And glass is built by turning stone into, well, glass. So, this temporary facility that I had over here, which uh, is completely filled with stone, can be turned into something useful. That means that I'll have to start with a conveyor belt. I have 780 of those at the moment. And we're just going to go a little bit further here. Then set up some construction... Or sorry, some... Um, hold on, is that built in a smelter or in the assembler? I think the smelter. Yeah, made in smelting facility. Very good. Let's put a couple of smelters down. One, two... 
Now I have since learned that if you put these things a little closer, it means that the uh, the grabbers, the the sorter mark ones, they are a bit faster, because it means it takes one and a half uh, second for a grid. So if I go from here to there, it takes three seconds. If I go from here to here, it takes one and a half seconds. So having these things as close to your conveyor belt as possible is definitely beneficial. For, let's say, simpler operations like these, it seems like just having the base ones is enough. Oh, I'm running out of uh, iron ingots. Let's go and uh, borrow some of the assembly line here. I'm oh, sorry, the conveyor belt. Considering how much I'm using in the sense of iron uh, ingots, I'll probably need a bit more than what I currently have. Let's get another Tesla coil and windmill. Not in that order. Just ensure that everything here is connected. This one is connected to that Tesla tower, so that's fine. I can set this one up here. I'm generating a lot of power at the moment. Far more than I need, at least for now. I'm generating 3.6 megawatts, and well, it's probably um, early game, it's enough, but later on, it's probably peanuts. It's probably really low numbers. All right, give me another one of those. And then let's build uh, a storage facility. Or I could loop it back into the storage facility here. Not necessarily. Uh, I need an output, output, input. Get me another one. Yeah, I'm once again running low. So here we go. And that one doesn't get any power. Uh, well, congratulations. You're going to get your very own wind turbine. There we go. Stone is being thrown onto the belt. Now I can tell this one to start making some glass. Same for this one. Since I don't know exactly what the main resources in this game are yet, I'm a bit hesitant to already start and build a main bus, because if it turns out that I need stone on my main bus, so on my central line of conveyors, then I'm going to have to reorganize the whole thing later. So for now, the ones that I'm definitely considering main ones are iron and um, uh, copper ingots, but the other ones I don't know. Not yet, anyway. Now, the research is almost complete, and that is the part that we need, the solar collection. Next up is going to be something vastly different, for which we'll need an energy matrix, which is a new tier of science. But, at least with the solar collection, I think I'll be getting a new power generator. At least that seems likely. And that should then allow me to make my power generation no longer a problem. For now, though, it seems like I'm not quite getting enough smelters. Yeah, there we go. You can now use solar panel. It's a power generation facility that converts solar radiant energy into electrical energy. It does not work at night. You can use accumulators to store surplus electri electrical energy during the day. Very good. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to add another smelter here. Without natural silicone baits. However, you can still obtain some by smelting stone. While you still need a massive silicone collection, you need to find a planet rich with silicone veins as soon as possible. Right. I'm not sure if you were able to hear what the uh, the narrator was saying. The uh, Let's say the info bot. It says the data shows that this is a planet without natural silicon veins. And it recommends that I look for silicon veins elsewhere. Because, um, well, we're going to need that in order to, well, maybe even build the solar power plant. What do we need here? High purity silicon. Now I happen to have some, I think. Or it says you can make some silicon by compressing stone. Hmm. Silicon ore. Ah, there we go. Ten stone can be turned into one silicon ore, and silicon ore can then be turned into high purity silicon. So yes, it can be done, but it's Probably not quite the most efficient way of going about it. Let's tie that one in here. Get me another couple of sorters. So that I can draw it in from here and put it out there. And this one is going to be building more iron ingots. Done. 
Right, so once again, it's back to the stone department to figure out how exactly I'm going to make do with that production. Because apparently stone is going to be a lot more critical than I had initially expected. We also need to set up some more research. Um, I've immediately jumped to, I don't know, tier 1, 2, 3, 3, 4, I guess, tier 4. So let's go with researching something else as well, because it seems like for the next one, it's going to require probably fluid storage. Only 50. And I, yeah, I happen to have exactly what I need. All of it already. Alright, stone. This one's not really required anymore. Let me just... Well, you see, the problem is I cannot very quickly replace it. Because that would mean I have to take all of that stone into my inventory. Uh, hold on, but I can... Just remove that. Remove this. Remove the sorters. And just attach the assembly belt, or the conveyor belt to each other. There we go. Alright. Let's elongate this one, ensuring that I can also get some of the other resources that we need. Because as it happens, I would like silicon. So I need to compress that in a smelting facility, and I then need to turn that into some high purity silicon. So we're going to need a couple of smelters. Uh, let's say four of them. And I probably will be running low on iron ingots again. So, back to the iron ingots. This transport belt is now full. That's good to see. Let's just absorb some of these. Okay. We have two smelters standing by. And I believe another two are coming up. No, not yet. This one, smelting. Yeah, in that case I really do need two more smelters. Uh, here. Now it's going to build four. Okay. Oh, right. I had set it to four, but previously I couldn't quite get that done. Because I didn't have it set up properly. I didn't have the resources. Now I do, and that means that I can... I'm going to build it towards this side so I don't interfere with this potential production line. Set up a smelter here. And then another one there. Here. And here. The logic behind this is that I can just bring over the resources from one to the next. So this one builds that, and then this one throws it into the next one. And you are going to be building some silicon ore for me. You're also going to be building silicon ore. The next tier is going to be the silicon plate, or high purity silicon. Purity silicon. And we'll need a conveyor belt somewhere over here to take the finished. Actually, you know what? I could have this storage facility also deposit into the belt so that it will slowly but eventually empty out. Or at least I hope so. Yeah, too far. Angle probably sucks. Does this work? Yeah, okay. So I can just empty this one out into there, ensuring that I do use some of that stone. <laughs> Eventually. Um, what if I do it the other way around? Which one's going to take priority, I wonder? <laughs> that one. <laughs> Definitely. Okay. Right, more research. Uh, high efficiency plasma control. It's going to... Under the action of electri electric and magnetic fields, we can use plasma more efficiently. The improved plasma exciter is more stable and has better performance. I don't even know what that does. Prism, plasma exciter, and the wireless power tower. Alright. Let's pick up some more research blocks. And before I forget it, I should be able to build one of these now. Uh, no, I don't have enough glass. That's the issue. 
But glass is sort of being stored over here. So I can just absorb some of those. Then... Oh, I'm running low on ingots again. Surprise, surprise. This seems to be the tune of the game, uh, whether you're playing Factorio or anything else. Uh, I'm running low on. It's always, well, mostly iron. Alright, let's try this again. Set that up. Now, to also focus on power generation here. Uh, Wind turbine should be... Oh! We're getting relatively close, if not over, the power load. So I should be focusing on getting some more uh, power generation going. Let's set this thing up here. Oh, no. Actually, not there. No, I should be able to do that. Extend this. And extend that. And I could potentially even put up a third one. Just to make things even faster. And once again, we're going to have to borrow some iron off the conveyor belt. Because it's the rest of the resource that I have plenty of. I still have a lot of copper ingots. So that's not the problem. It's the, uh, the iron. Uh, logistics. A couple more sorters. So we're going to take resources from this one to there. And then, oh, I'm not sure if I can pull that off. And no. This thing's in the way. Alright, I'm sorry, you're going to have to wait one second. Because I need to relocate that storage. What? Oh, I think the storage disappeared. I'm not sure where they hide those. But my inventory is a bit limited. Yeah, cannot be added. Crap, my inventory is full. Uh, can I just drop something here? Okay, high capacity or high efficiency plasma control is ready. Next research. Can we do something more upgrading on the mech? Here, carrying capacity. Requires steel and a lot of circuit boards. This is going to require... Or it's going to provide additional construction drones. Yes. I could really do with some faster construction. Now, in order to free up some space, I can toss these crystals in here. And then hopefully I'll be able to make that storage facility so I can dump all of those transport belts back in. Build one of these. There we go. You're going to go there. And I'm going to say uh, 30 is a bit much. I'll take 10. So let's just get rid of a whole bunch of these. Because I don't think I'm going to need quite that many. At least not in my inventory. Still, this provides me with a backup of 2,000 conveyor belts. So if I eventually want to elongate that uh, transporter belt, it shouldn't be an issue. Alright, elongate this, elongate that. And then put this one to there. Uh, nope, from here to there, please. And you're going to be building these things. There we go. Um, we're probably going to need quite a few more of these, I would imagine. At least for the other techs. Yep, 100 there. Uh, that one's not built yet. That's in progress. So that's probably something that we're going to get in an update to the game. Magnetic levitation technology is going to require the next tier, which is the energy matrix. So I'll also, whoops, I'll also queue this one up. Uh, provided, of course, that I have the prerequisite research done. I'll research thermal power, semiconductor materials. That one requires the new science tech. Environment modification. Collect soil pile from above zero altitude and use them to fill up the ocean to make the factory construction more convenient. Just rectify the surface will consume the foundation. Okay. That should keep the research busy for a bit. Oh crap, I didn't put an output here yet. There we go. That should make things decent at speed. But I would like another one. Because we're going to need a lot of those things. 
It still says manual research, which kind of implies that at some point there's probably going to be a normal way to research or an automatic way to research. I just don't know how to do that yet. We're going to need a few more of these. Make sure that the conveyor belt reaches all the way to there. Then set up the output. And... Can, hold on, you need to move. Uh, this one can go here. This one produces the magnetic coils. And it still needs an output to this belt. Gotcha. So this one can drop it here. And then you can take it from here and put it in there. That one's going to build that. Coming in. There we go. More research coming up. I still need 91, but there should be a lot in here. Yeah, 148. Excellent. I already do have one solar panel. And they generate 360 kilowatts. Which I believe is slightly more. Yeah, wind turbines generate 300. But they don't work during the night. That's the payoff. They don't work during the night. Still, um, if I have some room for them, I suppose I could use it. And yeah, I'll definitely need to look into generating more power now. Do we already have a wireless tower? No, what I need for that is some sort of plasma exciter. Okay, and prismas? Prisms? Polyhydrine? Polyhydrin surrounded by two intersecting glass panes. Planes. Right. Uh, this one? Set the wind turbine up here. Not sure if that's going to be generating enough power, but at least it's a start. Put that Tesla tower over here. Yeah, it's now getting power, so it's very, very slowly turning this into silicon ore. And silicon ore can then be turned into the high purity silicon. Right? No? Lack of material. How much do you need? Because apparently one's not enough. Two. Alright, fair enough. So if I want to be building a lot more silicon, I'm going to need a ton of stone. And on top of that, a lot of smelters. Like a lot, a lot. Oh well, gives me plenty to do. Um, for now, let's go and uh, borrow some more of my iron ingots. And start building a whole bunch more wind farms. I could set up a small facility to automatically build wind farm or build um, windmills for me. What do I need to do that? I need uh, the coils, I need gears, and I need iron plates. Or ingots, what do they call them here? Ingots, right. Gears are built using uh, just iron plates. Ingots, sorry. And those, yeah, here, I'm generating coils, but I don't use all of them. So I can, at least over here, as a sort of secondary uh, production capability, if you will. Maybe not quite that far, though. Let's see. Do I have enough? No, I still need to build... Let's see. Well, yeah, let's build two. That's fine. Then, make sure that I can... Autom no, actually, I need another one. Make sure that I can automatically build the gears. So I'm going to have this one come to here and join production that one goes there this one builds gears in order to do that it needs an inserter or a sorter sorry it's very much <laughs> very much uh, factorio terms in case you haven't figured it out And I can probably make this fairly straightforward. Just have this one over here. This one's going to be building the actual wind turbine. And I don't really need to extend this conveyor belt this far. 
I'm only going to build one of those buildings so that I have a steady supply of those windmills. So we're going to go here. That's not the most efficient way to do it. So we can just go straight up. Like that. Give me some sorters. You're going to go in. You're going to get from here. Actually, I'll use a, a Mark II for that because it's slightly faster. And then we need one more item, and that is this. Right. And now we are generating gears. Uh, provided that I provide it with power, of course. So let's ensure that it has power. Otherwise, the whole operation is a bit useless. There we go. This one builds gears. It does so rather quickly, and this one is then capable of building wind turbines. Unfortunately, it has insufficient power supply, so it's not very quick about it. But that can be handled. That can be fixed. Um, yeah, that's going to be the storage for the conveyor belts. I'll just have another storage over here. It's going to be for the wind turbines. So, more automation is achieved. And I can put these things in some spaces where I probably won't need too much more uh, factories. How much am I generating? 5.16. Power load is still higher. So we're going to need a lot more of these. Looks like we're going to be deploying a lot more windmills today. Now, if you like this series, then please consider becoming a subscriber and just hit the subscribe button. And also let me know what you think of the series so far. Leave a comment down below. As you might know, comments, likes, um, stuff like that really helps my channel out. Because it's something that YouTube rewards by giving you more attention. And who knows, maybe other people would enjoy the series too. Right. We are currently working on the plasma extractor or plasma extract refining. At this rate, I'm probably having yeah, I'm having a lot of these resources in here. That's the uh, the blue science, I suppose, or purple. I don't know. I'm colorblind, so it's hard for me to see. Um, is there any way to speed up the research? I wonder, because it still says manual research. No, that's a new component. It's not what I need. Energy storage. Titanium smelting. Crystal smelting. Solar sail orbit system. Use the EM rail ejector to launch a large number of solar sails from the to form Dyson Swarm, which can more effectively obtain radiant energy of stars. That seems like we're a bit away from... <laughs> from getting to that tier just yet. Upgrades? Is that going to help me? Uh, drive, engine circuitry, solar cell life. Here, research speed. Good lord, that takes a ton. Required, inf required technology, information matrix. Okay, where's that? Because that's not the energy matrix, so it's deeper inside the tree. Where? Probably suffering from YouTuber blindness at this point, because you might already be shouting at the screen. It's right there. I don't see it yet. Quantum chips, gravity matrix. It wouldn't make that much sense to put it at the end of the tech tree. Made in research facility. Don't I already have that? Basic logistics. Solar collection. Where the hell is it? Interplanetary. This is all construction and transport. Storage processor. No. I'm seeing the energy matrix, not the information matrix. 
Because this is the electromagnetic matrix, so it's a different tier. Or a different type of matrix. Plasma extract refining is done. You can now extract crude oil resources. In addition to using its energy, you can also refine it into various chemical products. Excellent. The energy matrix, by the way, also allows me to build the hydrogen fuel rod, which, or at least research it, which is going to take probably quite a lot of resources, but will have a lot of energy stored in it. You know what, I'll come across that information thing probably at a time when I am not looking for it. Alright, um, I'd say we have made a decent amount of progress for today. I'm going to end the episode here. I hope that you are enjoying what you see so far. A uh, link to the game is down below in the description. And I hope that you'll be joining me in the, a day or two for the next part of this series. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in two days.